The following is a typically outrageous and thought-provoking clip from the riot. Uh, there was one dopey woman for the Washington Post. I think her name was Alyssa Rosenberg. Apologize if it if I don't have it right. But she wrote some article saying that, what do you expect? Because his words hurt. He has a history of saying racially insensitive things. He has a history of uh, having people have sex in churches. Or he encourages people uh, to... Uh, uh, to disrespect women and and on his twitter he said he hoped that woman would die that some brother would kill her by punching her or shooting her in the face and and she was equating that as uh whatchamacallit as reason for this woman <laughs> who probably didn't even know who he was to start violence so she replied to me and she said oh it's hilarious that now you conservatives want to draw a line and i'm like We've always wanted to draw a line. That line is physical violence. <laughs> yeah. You know, words don't hurt people. D l listen, liberals, words can never hurt you as much as a punch to the nose or getting stabbed in the heart or shot in the ass, okay? Yeah. I know you guys like to think that if I use the word cunt, all of a sudden 50 women grabbed their chests and got uh, had heart attacks like Fred Sanford used to. But that's just not the case. Yeah, that's something. I, that's a point I've always made. You know, people, you hear liberals that always have words hurt and they have power. Like, like, remember I was telling you about that guy in the Minnesota legislator? Yeah. The legislature that he wanted, he didn't want the fish that were eating all the, uh, to be called Asian fish. Yeah. Because it's insulting to Asians. Like, look, I understand that words can hurt. But I mean, nothing hurts more than being shot, beaten, yeah. killed. I mean, I, I can recover from name calling. Yeah. So let me let me let me yeah. just remind that dopey twat liberal writer Alyssa Rosenberg at the Washington Post. If you think words hurt that much, I'll tell you what, honey. Why don't you gag me and give me a gun, and then you could come in and call me whatever you want. Right. Then we'll see who hurts the most afterwards. Yeah. I'll, I'll use my gun. You use your words. Let's figure out which one hurts most. Or even better, forget the gun. Let me use my fists. And then you use words. We'll see which one hurts more. So this whole argument that words hurt, go fuck yourselves. Yeah, that's just silly. Directly, let me tell you to go fuck yourselves. Yeah, Very hard. Yeah. And in a rape culture sort of way. Go fuck yourselves. I don't care. Do you understand what I'm saying? This is not, words are not reasons to initiate violence. Unless the words are, I'm going to kill you, and that's followed by me lunging towards you. Right. Join us every week at theriotshow.com to follow the latest exploits of Big Fat John and Judo Larry M. This is Mark, the man with a golden voice, and I'm not wearing any pants.